using lists in flowcharts. Here's an example of a flowchart that stores three numbers in a list and then displays each of the numbers in that list. The first part of the flowchart creates a list named MyList and creates a variable named Counter. The second part of the flowchart is a loop that goes through the list line by line or item by item and prints out whatever is in the list at that line number. The important part to note here is how we identify which item in the list that we want to display. If I create a list named my list, then the first item in the list is identified as my list bracket 1. The second item would be my list bracket 2 and so on. Your flowchart and your code will have a variable to hold the place for the number. In this example, my list bracket counter means get the value of the variable named counter and display the item from the list that has that number. So if the counter variable is set to 2, my list bracket counter will display the second item in the list. Because my list bracket counter really means in that circumstance my list bracket 2. Now let's take a look at the flowchart in a little more detail to see what's actually happening here. So as always, we start off our flowchart with a start. Then here we've created a list and named it my list. We've also created the variable counter and set the counter equal to 1. So we're going to keep track of everything that's going on here. So I'm going to put my counter here. Counter has been created and it's been set to 1. We've created a list called my list. Currently doesn't have anything in it. And later on we're going to start, we'll do some output. So I'm just going to, we're going to print some things out. So we'll create a space called output and to track things there. The next thing that happens is we insert 20 into the list. So we'll go ahead and do that in my list. We put the number 20. We move along and now it says to insert 30 into the list. So we put 30 into my list. Moving along then it says to insert 50 into my list. So we put 50 in my list. Now we come to the loop part of the program. We encounter a decision that says, is the counter greater than 3? Well, currently the counter is equal to 1, so clearly the counter is not greater than 3. So we go down the no path, and it tells us to print my list, bracket counter. So what that really means is we've got my list and bracket 1, because that's what the counter is currently set to. So it says go to the first item in the list, which in this case is 20, and it's telling us to print that out. So we'll go ahead and print that out. Then we proceed down the path that says add 1 to the counter. So we take our counter and we add 1 to it, so it's now 2. Then we loop back. We check is the counter greater than 3 or not. Since the counter is currently 2, it's obviously not greater than 3, so we go down the no path and it tells us to print out my list with the counter again. This time, however, the counter is now 2. So it's going to go to the second item in the list, and we're going to print that out. Continue on down, we add 1 to the counter again. Counter is now 3. Is the counter greater than 3? No, it's not. It's equal to 3, so we go down the no path again. We print out my list counter. In this case now, my list counter is at 3, which means we're going to the third item in the list here this time which is, of course, 50. So we print that out. We add 1 to the counter, so the counter is now 4. And we loop back to check, is the counter greater than 3? This time, the counter is greater than 3. So we go out the yes branch, and we end the program. So you can see in this case how we've used a list and a loop together to store a bunch of information and then retrieve information from that list.